Let's just hear from Rolf Kalb, who's the master of ceremonies here. Mr. Snooker in Germany, the leading German language commentator on Eurosport, and a very influential force in helping the game grow in this part of the world. Mark, this guy over there tonight simply was unstoppable, wasn't he? He played well. I mean, I did have, I did have some chances, to be honest. So you, you can't miss easy balls against, against anybody, especially against someone like Mark. And if you do, you're um, going to finish second. So, but he, you know, he punished me when I did, so fair play to him. Er hat gesagt, naja, ich hatte ein paar Chancen, wenn man die nicht nutzt, dann wird man gerade von so jemandem natürlich bestraft. But still, it was, these were good days for you here in Fürth. You had some great scores, so I think at the end you can be happy. Yeah, I've had a good few days. It's been, it's been good, obviously, getting to the finals. Uh, no main achievement, to be honest, with the standard of play these days. So, uh, it's very really disappointing how I played in the final, but just wouldn't to be in that game. But uh, I've played, played well in a few of the other matches. So, uh, you know, overall I'm pretty pleased. Alles im Alma, also ist er mit seiner Leistung zufrieden, nur nicht mit dem, was er hier im Finale gezeigt hat. Mark Davis. Mark, I think you like to come to Germany. Run up in Berlin. Now you're the winner here in Fürth. Yeah, I don't know how it seems to be. Every time I seem to come to Germany, I seem to perform quite well. But like Mark said there, I think the first two frames you had a couple of chances, and in a best of seven, you can't afford to get off to a bad start. And unfortunately for Mark, he did, and I managed to capitalise. Yeah, he said. Also, in Deutschland, he always good to play, but Mark Davis had already said a few mistakes, and he has managed to profit from that. Uh, but Mark, what I also realized in these days, you were playing very positive, always going for your shots, always playing for to win. Yeah, I think you have to nowadays. I mean, the standard of snooker is so high, so I mean, you just have to try and take your chances every time you get them. If you don't, you can get beaten by anybody. There's so many good players out there. But I mean, it's great to come back to Germany. I'd just like to thank the fans. They've been fantastic again this week. Same in Berlin. It was great. All the promoters as well, Brandon Parker, Martin Clark, they've always done a great job. And it's just great to be in Germany and hopefully we can come back again next year. Er sagt also, diese positive Spielweise, die braucht man, lobt und bedankt sich aber vor allem bei Ihnen und sagt, er freut sich schon darauf, wieder hierher zurückzukommen. Max LB. Two good interviews there. Both players spoke well, I thought. As always, Mark Selby, the ultimate professional. Meine Damen und Herren, dieses Turnier ist nach Paul Hunter benannt und deshalb freuen wir uns sehr, dass für die Siegerehrung hier ist der Vater von Paul Hunter und bei der Siegerehrung der Promoter von Dragon Stars, Thomas Cesar. Well, this is really nice to see. Part of the presentation party, Alan Hunter, father of the late Paul Hunter. His greatest supporter, they travelled round together when Paul passed away. It ripped Alan's heart out. And there's no better person to present the trophy. Meine Damen und Herren, der Vize-Champion beim Paul Hunter Classic 2011, Mark Davis. Mark Davis, the runner-up, and the plate for what he's achieved. He should be proud. As it came, the 2010 world champion in the semi-finals, Neil Robertson, and his financial reward is 5,000 euros.
der Siegerscheck, die 2000 Ranglistenpunkte und der Titel des Paul Hunter Classic Champions 2011. All das geht an den Sieger, geht an Mark Silby. Alan Hunter offers Mark Selby his congratulations. 10,000 euro to the winner. Another trophy in the cabinet. And the way he's playing at the moment, I'll just repeat what I said earlier. You have to think, this is the first of many this season. No weakness. And his performance certainly appreciated by this. German crowd. Well, it's been a tremendous three days here in Firth, Germany, in northern Bavaria. We've seen a 147 break from Ronnie O'Sullivan. We've seen shock results, none more so than Li Yan from China overcoming John Higgins in the last 32. Ultimately, though, the champion was Mark Selby. He'll have a few days off, then he'll travel together with Mark Davis over to the Shanghai Masters which begins on September the 5th, a week tomorrow. And we'll be back here on live worldsnooker.tv with all of the action from Shanghai, starting bright and early. It's a 7.30 start at British time in the morning. 8.30 Central European. So just on behalf of my fellow commentators over the last few days, Clive Everton and Neil Folds. This is Phil Yates saying goodbye from Firth, Germany, where Mark Selby is the Paul Hunter Classic Champion. Good night.